Welcome back to the Thought Leadership Series here at Online Marketing TV, joined by Jonathan Allen. Jonathan, welcome to the show. Thank you. So um, let's talk about what you do, right? You, you run Search Engine Watch, more or less, right? You run all the content that comes through there. You see lots of articles, lots of best practices. Um, talk to us about some of the, the trends you see coming up as we get into the second half of 2011 that you're really interested in and, and watching closely. Yeah, okay. So, um, well, basically, one of the really cool things about Search Engine Watch is we have so many writers who are all experts in their own field. So I work with them to kind of work out what the, you know, what they're going to talk about, what they're passionate about, and how it fits into the bigger picture after all the other discussions with people. Mm. Um, and some of the cool things that are coming up at the moment is... Um, you know, paid search without using keywords and, you know, AdWords becoming kind of more like a sort of demand side platform type thing, you know, display and retargeting coming through. Yeah. And that's something that Alex Cohen from Click Equations is big on and talks about a lot. Yep, we just had him here before on the show. So oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. And then another thing that I'm personally interested in is what's going on in the semantic space. Yeah. Um, just the way that semantics can kind of reduce uh, billions of results into you know three or seven. Give, give um, us an example of semantics because I think a lot of mainstream marketers aren't really grasping the concept of semantics. What what does this mean to the the average marketing professional? Yeah, so semantics semantics can find meaning in you know ostensibly, uh, and what that means is is that it's able to kind of work out what content is about, and whereas you have in traditional search. We use links to kind of work out what's authoritative and what's not. Um, semantics can actually kind of look into the actual content and categorize it in a new way. So one of the most interesting things is a company called TrustYou.com. Yeah, yeah. And they're doing uh, semantic anal analysis of reviews for hotels. So they're able to analyze what, um, how people feel online about a particular hotel. Um, and boil 6,000 reviews into, you know, 5,000 people like it, 1,000 people didn't like the service, you know, 3,000 people think there's a great view out the window, 2,000 love the breakfast, right. you know, that kind of thing. And, you know, previously we would have to worry about keywords and keyword stuffing and things like that to get that message across to search engines. Yeah. But with semantics, it can go, it can work out that croissant and coffee and orange juice is probably breakfast ah, and things like that. So they pull a croissant, coffee, and orange juice, and they know you must be liking the breakfast. Yeah, there exactly. You go. I like it. That's cool. But the thing about it is, it takes human beings to categorize all this knowledge. So, so again, it's something that Google can't necessarily move in on so easily, and it's got to come from kind of established bases of experts. Sounds like an open directory project all over again. Yeah, sort of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. So let's um, talk about some tactics out there, right? <clears throat> Many people are just trying to do things and do them well. What are the like, top one or two tactics you find to be most effective when optimizing for search right now? Starting from the, the very basics, like what, what are some things that people just got to get done before they worry about anything else? Yeah, so everyone needs to stop pushing the message that meth tags are worthless. <laughs> like, cause it's so they are true. worth something, yeah? Yeah, they are. Yeah. yeah. Okay, the meta keywords tag. How much are they worth? A dollar, worth a penny, much. or. The meta keywords tag, uh, tag is not worth anything. Ditch right. that. Meta description, not necessarily worth anything to search engines, but worth something to social networks. So you right. can put like an offer in your or some kind of other information in there. You mm. can even put links in your meta description and they get linked by Facebook. Really? Interesting. Yep. Um, but title tags, everyone just underestimates how important the title is. Right. And you know, if you're not making every single page of your site have a unique title, you're still doing it wrong. Right, so if you don't have that, you might as well forget everything else and just start from over. It's like a book, right? You can write a thousand page novel, it's awesome, but if you don't have a good title, no one's gonna read the book, right? Yeah, Regardless yeah, yeah. of it, that's it, I like it, good. Um, so talk to us a little bit about who's doing it well out there. You see a lot of people talk about some case studies. Any brands or companies you see that are really doing search well and, and what's the underlying principle of what they're doing well? Well, to be honest, um, on the SEO space, it's still very secretive, you know, and you only really kind of stumble upon your competitors by competing with them. Mm -hmm. So there's no one coming out saying we're particularly amazing at SEO. They'd, they'd rather keep that a secret. Right. I know Bizarre Voice uh, have some pretty cool SEO tactics around reviews. Yeah. Um, 
But the PPC companies are actually the ones who seem to be coming out with kind of the most innovation right now um, because they're looking at how kind of search and social and display and all of that goes together and because they have such big targets, yeah. um, they're doing interesting stuff. But a company that I think is doing something kind of unique and cheap and free that anyone can do is Sears. Yeah. Um, so they're hiring, they're not hiring, they're offering a kind of competition in collaboration with bloggers mm. uh, where the bloggers are creating video content and video interviews at events like Consumer Electronics Show and allowing them to publish that content on their own sites, but they're essentially commissioning it, Sears is commissioning it. And this is clever because that means you get links from the high profile blogs back to Sears, yep. uh, and the bloggers themselves get unique content to get links to their own site. And I think this kind, that for me summarizes the philosophy you should be having when link building, it's like, how do I make my friend make links yes. rather yeah, yeah, than yeah. me? Yeah, how, how to, it's almost like multi-level marketing, right? Yeah. yeah. How to make everybody else make links <laughs> for me starting at one level at a time. That's great. <clears throat> so um, we always like to talk about the personal stuff, so we'll wrap up on that. And we asked you in the interview before about some of those pieces, but I know you're from Sri Lanka, yeah? Yeah. And tell me something interesting about your heritage there that uh, you know let us understand kind of where you come from so we understand more about where you're going. Yeah, yeah, cool. Thanks for that question. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I'm half Sri Lankan, half English. My mum's Sri Lankan. And she sort of brought me up to, like, kind of really be aware of the two different cultures. And one thing uh, is that Sri Lanka has... Um, it's uh, Buddhist. It's a Buddhist country. Yeah. So it has a different view about how time works, for instance. So opportunities can continually recur in Buddhism, whereas in kind of Western thought... Uh, there's a tendency to kind of chase that opportunity there and then. Right. I think that kind of, and then you've also got this kind of, um, you know, the balance between what's good and bad. That it doesn't try and worry too much about the two. It tries to cut a middle way. Yeah. And what I think is interesting about that is that um, that's that's a famous line, right? The middle way. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. What, I mean, what's cool about that is like when you when you realise you can let go of a lot of these things, opportunities recur. And that means all your conversations you're having as a marketer or a business owner, mm. you realize you don't have to constantly have the answer there and then. You can yeah. kind of just let that conversation keep going. And then at some point, it will be obvious what you need to do. So if I hear you correctly in that, that the Buddhist way for search for all online marketing, let alone life, is that opportunities are only as limited as you think they are in a matter of time and space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. That's good. a good interpretation. All right, that's a great way to uh, end it. Thanks for coming on the show with us, and we'll see you back soon, right? Yeah, cool. cheers, Aaron. Cool.